How you guys doing? Yep, it's me, and I am still awake. I'm wide awake. <laughs> I just wanted to say, happy May. It's May 1st, and that means we have an entire new month to work at making, you know, your dreams come true, as silly as that might sound. Realize that when I say that, it can mean anything from trying to just eat healthier to making that impossible dream a reality for you. Whether it's writing that book, writing a screenplay, learning to dance, learning a new skill, I don't care what it is. You are on this planet where you get a chance to make everything you want a reality and although a lot of it could take hella hard work it literally will make you feel like such a happier you versus sitting around and going I wish I could have I wish I was all right and I know it sounds ridiculous because you know I know some of you are like Loren it's fucking early could you just stop with your fucking pep talks right now but <laughs> I'm still not asleep. I've been working all night. I've been, you know, getting stuff done. I'm never, you know, done hustling and getting my dreams accomplished the best I can. And I got a lot of crazy dreams that people, you know, might seem or think are silly, but I've made them happen. I wanted to stop smoking cigarettes. It was not making me feel good. I went to an acupuncturist, got Accu stickers put on my ears. Next day, I quit smoking cigarettes. That's been seven or eight years now. I wanted to make films. I learned how to do it. I wanted to write books. I learned how to do it. And all I'm saying to you is you're, you're already going to be tired, exhausted, and upset about stuff because life happens. So I'm saying... Wouldn't you rather be upset because you're learning something new and it's a bit frustrating versus you're doing the same old, same old that you freaking hate and you're wishing you can make in your dreams come true? I don't care if it's losing 10 pounds in a year <laughs> or if it's learning to ride a horse or get your pilot's license. I, I, you know, I love riding horses. I've been riding since I was a kid. But you know what I don't have yet? My pilot's license. You know what I want to get? My pilot's license. So it's just going to be another thing that I'm working on. So happy May. Please realize how much you have endured, accomplished, handled, dealt with. And we're only in May 2021. But 2020 was a hell of a year. Most of us are dealing with a little PS, PTSD from it, you know? And I don't mean like a laughing matter. I mean, you know, try to be taking care of yourself and realize how far you have come and how much you've dealt with and overcome. And give yourself a pat on the back, even if it's just like, I kept swimming when I thought I was gonna tap out on this world because we've lost so many. And right now I'm just driving around in the parking lot because I don't want to, um, you know, be distracted on the road. So I'm, I'm going to stop this message in a second. But I do hope that this reaches someone that needs to hear it. This is your sign to get on that project, dream, whatever it is. Whether it's learning to make a new dish you always wanted to try, learn a language, go somewhere you've never been by yourself. You know, even if that means like just a new nature park, all right? Try learning and doing something for yourself that you've always wanted to do. Start small if you want. But please, do something for yourself that will make you smile without needing to worry about anybody else agreeing whether you do it or not. Like, I don't care if anybody thinks I should get my pilot's license or not. 
I'm still gonna make that happen one day. <laughs> Just like I didn't care if people agreed or not when I learned self-defense, takedown methods, and martial arts. I, there are plenty of things in your life that you're gonna have to make the decisions for. And I think too often we are stuck in a depression because we're too afraid to do things without getting almost permission from people we care about. And I mean, it could be little things to wanting to try a different style of dress. Now I know I look ridiculous. It was freaking freezing out overnight and I've been working outside overnight since like, you know, 11 p.m. and it's now after 7 a.m. So the hat really was beneficial and my mom knitted it. So heck yeah, same thing with the sweater. And uh, come on, when your mom knits you something, you wear it, right? That's your mama dukes. <laughs> All right, guys, go get your coffee, your tea, your water. However you start your day, realize it's May 1st. So as a dear friend of mine once said, start every month off, at least the first few days, with the energy and intention and focus of what you hope the month will bring. So whether that's saying affirmations to help change stuff going on, like, you know, I am well, that's a simple thing that, you know, sounds ridiculous, but you keep saying it all of a sudden, you're gonna feel a lot better versus, I feel like I'm dying. I mean, none of that feels good. Versus I feel well, I am well. Sounds cheesy, but it really does make a difference. This is coming from somebody who was bedridden at one point and was supposed to be dead by 26. Now I'm gonna be 37 soon. All right, so happy May 2021. And please guys, drink more water, take vitamin D3, take vitamin C, look into colloidal silver, look into turmeric at 2000 milligrams a day. All of those will help your body in amazing ways. Don't take just me saying it, look into it for yourself, but I'm on those things and feeling much better all the time. So happy May. May it be filled with blessings for you. And I hope this month really does start all the wonderful things you always dream of, but have never started to accomplish yet. All right, guys. Good morning, <laughs> good afternoon, and have a good night. Have a blessed May and stay safe, everyone.